Hello, hi, Namaskara. I am Rishabh Chatch and you are watching my review of the SBA1 HF helmet that I have used for more than a month and this video is gonna be my review about how do I feel about the helmet and the video might be a little bit long because I have tried to include all the details that I noticed during my uh, riding period and if you find this video informative don't forget to hit on that like button, share this video and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and now let's get started. Steelbird SBA1 HF was one of the very hyped up helmets uh, like recently in a few months back and uh, you might have seen like the videos have reached like the promotional videos have reached almost millions of views and the people who posted at the start were getting lakhs and lakhs of views because there was so much hype. So Steelbird also sent me a SBA1 HF helmet and the unique USP of this helmet was that it was a, in, a helmet which had an inbuilt hands-free system and uh, it was something like different because other helmets were not providing this inbuilt. So before I start with this video in which I'll be sharing the pros and the cons, if you have watched my unboxing video, you might have seen that one of my speaker was not working. So I contacted the Steelbird and they sent me a replacement. So basically what I think happened is that during the delivery process, uh, the delivery normally takes two to three days, but this time it took like almost a week. And when I got the package, it was kind of damaged on one side. So what I think is because of the delivery, something had happened uh, during this time. And that is why one of the speaker got damaged during that process. And, uh, Anyways, they replaced it and the replacement one which I got, it didn't have any problems. Uh, both the speakers are working well. So that was a bit information if you are thinking, if you have watched my unboxing video and if you want to know what happened exactly, this is what happened. Now let's start with the pros. Now if you are watching this video, I think you might be planning to buy this uh, helmet. So I would recommend you to watch the full video because I've used this helmet for more than a month. So I'm gonna speak everything that I've noticed. And uh, if you watch only half part or quarter part, then you won't know the full story. And if you want to buy this helmet, all the links will be in the description. So please do buy from the links in the description as it does help out this channel. And now let's start with the pros. So the first is hands-free system. Now hands-free system is a wired one in this, it's not a Bluetooth one. There are pros and cons. In this pros, we'll be talking about what is good about this wired system. So number one is that there is no battery in this. So you don't have to worry like every week you need to charge once or if you forget to charge, it won't work. So it's battery less. So just plug in and it starts working. It's a pretty small system. So it's not like it's coming out of the helmet. So if you buy a aftermarket or like if you buy it from any other website, you might see that they're quite bulky and it sticks out from the helmet. Whereas this is like all in integrated and you might have seen many, many videos of the helmet being tested in water and the speakers are waterproof too. So you will not be dipping the helmet in water or when you are using it in rain water won't be falling inside because you will close the visor and water can't come in this way but anyways by chance if the helmet is kept outside in like opposite manner and the water falls you don't have to worry that the speakers might get spoiled now the call quality is pretty decent if you would have watched my one of the videos where i did a microphone test the link will be in the description for that video and the like this microphone quality was pretty good and even when i made calls uh, the other person was able to listen to me clearly it was not like he was telling your there's a lot of wind noise it was like cancelling the wind noise very properly talking about music quality from the speakers now audio when you are taking calls it's pretty clear but uh, if you are listening to music from this uh, it's not like you won't be able to hear outside surroundings you'll be able to hear pretty much horns vehicle sounds easily this will be like a background music now the speaker system is something uh, like the review is kind of mixed because uh, the bass is not as high as I expected like there is bass, treble and voice that you will see in the speaker 
so the treble is the most maximum that is the ching 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 sound like that kind of instrument sounds will be heard a lot more compared to voice and bass so the speaker tends to move more towards the treble so if you use the equalizer of whichever music app you are using you can change that and after that you will find that the bass is better but by default the speaker is more tuned towards treble second point is the design now the design is very similar to sba1 helmet but that's a good thing too because the sba1 even after so many years too, it looks different does not look like now it has become very old and it still looks neat and classic and that if you are looking for a helmet like that then this will be good for you third point is the ventilation system now this is steel bird air series so you have a lot of vents in the front top and uh, one thing that i've noticed is that if you keep the vents closed definitely during the summer you will feel a lot of heat and when you open it you can feel like you won't feel like there is a lot of air flowing like how you suppose if you're not riding with helmet and if you're riding slowly you will feel like so much air is flowing when you open the vents you won't feel like oh, wow there's so much air flowing but it is doing its job because when you close it that is when you can feel that yes it's very hot and the ventilation system is doing its job of keeping your head cool and preventing the sweating the fourth point is removable liner so this one comes with uh, the speakers attached but still the liner is removable so suppose it gets dirty you can remove it clean it and put it back the sixth point is this helmet comes with easy strap mechanism it does not have any uh, the deering and all so for daily city commuting it is very easy to put and it's also adjustable so if you find it loose you can adjust it the seventh point is the weight i found this helmet really like well balanced and i didn't find like uh, it was like putting a lot of weight on my head now i've used other helmets too some of them i find like they are putting a little bit more pressure but this one weighs pretty decent you will be able to see the weight now and uh, i don't find like it adds a lot of bulk the eighth point is it's really good for motor logging because the front part is very big the chin so you can have a chin mount and if you want to see the setup that i have it's pretty easy to do i made a separate video again link will be in the description or you might be able to find in the i section here so it's pretty simple process and if you're looking for a helmet in which you can like fix the chin mount easily then this will be one of the best helmets in the budget segment now moving on to the cons there are some cons with this helmet and as you might have seen in my other videos to every helmet has its own set of pros and cons and this one is no different so let's start with the cons now the first point is again with the hand free system now i've told the pros of this but this one also has some cons the first con is it's a wired system so this one does not come with battery but the problem with this is that you have to carry that wire always and there have been times where i forgot to carry the wire and uh, after i went to some other place and i thought while returning i'll listen to some music or use it while taking calls i didn't have the wire so you need to carry a wire continuously if you suppose you forget the wire then you won't be able to use the system aux cable mainly i mean now the one thing that i want to add is the aux cable that is provided with the helmet is pretty good quality and feels thick so it should not break i haven't seen any marks of wear and tear but by chance if you have lost it or if you have torn it somehow by rough usage then i'll leave the link to some aux cables too that i'm using with for my car i'm using the aux cable but you can use that for this helmet too it works fine any aux cable will work fine with this now the second point is related to design now i told you the pros of the design but one thing is that the design is similar to sba1 so if you are expecting the design to be a little different then this is not the helmet for you because people at a lower budget too will buy the sba1 and if you spend a little more too you'll be buying the sba1 hf which almost looks similar to sba1 so design wise there's not much like uh, differentiation in that so if you are looking for a helmet that is new and different then this might not be the one because the design has been in the market for quite some time now the third point is noise now if you are planning to use this helmet for the highway then i won't recommend you to buy this helmet because above 60 kmph you can hear a lot of wind noise and you won't be able to hear anything from the speaker because slowly slowly the woo sound will increase so much that you can't hear for city is really good because below 60 kmph you can't hear any kind of wind noise 
above 60 is when suddenly you will see a lot of wind noise increasing and above that 80 you can hear a lot and after that even when you are talking on the phone there is kind of little bit disturbance and mainly you won't be able to hear what the other person is speaking or if you are listening to music so if you are planning for city this is a really good helmet the fourth point is the speakers now what i didn't like about the speaker is that one is that the fit and finish could have been better. I noticed that the ends of the helmet, the way, the point where the wire and the speaker system meets, it's not like that proper thickness wise and feels kind of fragile. And I noticed two, three times that the speaker was kind of actually little bit like vibrating and I could hear one ting 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 sound like I felt at first that the speaker is not fixed properly it might have come out a little bit outside so that is why the sound was coming but then I noticed the speaker itself was making kind of tung tung sound it stopped after like I put the wires little bit like I moved the wires little bit more I changed the position little bit and it stopped but one thing I would suggest Steelbird is that to look into the exact point where the wire and the speaker meets because I felt it's slightly more fragile and it could have been made a little bit more better fit and finish wise now the fifth point is about the chin mount now i told you it's re really good for motor logging but the problem is that this helmet is a full face helmet but if you see inside the helmet the chin part there's a warning which says that this chin mount is actually not safe it's not actually a won't protect you during a fall so basically it means that it's a half face helmet with that chin part but when you when you fall that chin part won't actually save your chin part it's actually more of a look than actually giving you a protection this is something first time i saw in a steelbird helmet that warning was given maybe the earlier ones also had this chin one like the chin is not as strong compared to other helmets but good thing that they're given the warning so that is something you should know that there's a warning in the helmet which says that the chin part won't protect you in case of a fall the sixth point is the color options now this sbi one is available only in the plain colors that is white black and red i think uh, now sbi one is available in lot of different graphics and colors but this one has only three and if you are looking for something that looks a little more different then you won't be able to find this because all three colors are simple and plain so maybe steelboard will introduce it later on but currently only three options are available the seventh point is the pricing now the pricing is little bit i feel on the higher side they had launched it a little bit lower but if you see the mrp has increased by around 500 rupees maybe if it was 500 rupees lesser it would have been more value for money but at the current price i feel it's slightly above value now the last point is gonna be about the inner liner so the inner liner of steel bud i feel is that uh, they can improve a little bit in the foaming and also in their uh, size because now they have a medium and large now in their recent one of the helmets i've seen they introduced the small size but in this helmet the small size is not available it's only available in medium and large so if they would have put the small size in this helmet to it would have been good and one more thing is that the foam what i've noticed that is that after like few days and few weeks the foam becomes little bit more like softer softer like if the thickness is slowly it starts shrinking so if they can work a little bit on the foaming because what i've seen that is that in almost all steel bird helmets the inner liner the cloth and everything remains the same and uh, there is scope for slight improvement i feel on that the cloth and also the softness so overall what do i feel about this helmet it's a really good helmet the usb is the sba1 hands free and the hands free system really does its job there are no other helmets currently at this point which actually have this inbuilt hands free system and it's really different because other intercoms are available but they are bluetooth but in wired they are not available and bluetooth pairing all this takes a little bit time whereas this is simple just plug in the wire and start using it now it depends on your needs whether you need a wireless or a wired one but what i felt 
at this price point and the overall package is really good and uh, i feel uh, if you are looking for a wired hands-free system then you should buy this but uh, as i've told you there are a few cons so if you are okay with those cons then go ahead and buy this helmet i've been pretty happy i've been using this helmet primarily during my commuting rides in the city almost for more than a month i do like one hour plus ride every day and i haven't had any trouble it has been very perfect and i've also done motor vlogging with this you might have seen some of my videos so overall it's a good helmet there are few things that could have been improved but yeah for what you get it's pretty good and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think about this helmet will you buy it or will you buy some other helmet or if you have any suggestions comment below well thank you for watching i hope you found this video informative and if you did don't forget to hit on that like button share this video and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and if you're not following me on instagram at the rate rc media house and if you're not following me on facebook youtuber rishabh chatterjee that's it for this video i hope you found it informative this is rishabh chatterjee signing off and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye bye and if you plan to buy the helmet link will be in the description now if you are watching this video i think you might be planning to buy this uh, helmet or you might be like thinking to buy so both are the same <laughs> base is decent but comparatively the treble is the more uh, one you like the more you can hear कन्फ्यूजन करने में एक्सपर्ट है तो इतना एक चीज में बोलेगा तो कहाँ से होगा भाई यू माइट बी एक्सपेक्टिंग समथिंग एंड दिस माइट नॉट बी लाइक ओ माय गॉड स्टोरी में कितना बोलेगा भाई डोंट कॉम्प्लेक्स इट मैन टेल सिंपल स्टोरी स्टोरी कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी सो इफ यू आर प्लानिंग फॉर सिटी